What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 3, Problem 4 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Jural Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 3 is all about vectors. And in Problem 4, we are told that there is some object on an inclined plane. We are given the distance up the plane and the angle. And we are asked the vertical and horizontal distance it is from the end of the ramp. So first off, I want to just draw a picture. And I'm not going to include the object because it's not really completely necessary. So say this is our inclined plane. Um, and we have an angle here, which is theta, which is 20 degrees. We'll say this is x and this is y. And we are told the distance right here is 12.5 meters. So we can use trig to solve for x and y. We can say the sine of theta, and we know that the sine of theta is the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So this is going to be equal to the opposite side of the angle, which is y, over the hypotenuse, which we know is 12.5. So we can solve for y and say y is equal to 12.5 sine theta. So y is equal to 12.5 sine of 20 degrees. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 4.28 meters. And if you got something different, I would just double check to make sure that your calculator is in degree mode, not radian mode. That will definitely throw off your answer. And then to solve for x, we want to do the same thing, except we want to use uh, cosine. And the cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So this is your adjacent side to the angle, and this is your hypotenuse. So x over 12.5. Now you may be thinking, okay, I could have also used tangent, like we just solved for the y value here, so we could use tangent, but just to be safe, I would only use exact values like what you're given in the problem. Like here I was given 12.5, so I can use that as an exact value. My y value here, I rounded, I rounded to three significant figures. If I were to use this to solve for my x value, my x value may be a little bit off due to rounding errors. So to be safe, I would always use the values that you're given in the problem that you know are exact. So now we can solve for x and say x is equal to 12.5 cosine theta. And then we can plug in our angle and say cosine of 20 degrees. Again, just make sure you're in degree mode. And if you plug that in your calculator, you should get 11.7 meters. I actually did the calculation off camera, and if you were to use this 4.28 to solve for x, you would get 11.8 meters for this. Although that's a very small difference, if you were in a physics class in high school or college or something, and you got 11.8 versus 11.7 because you made a rounding error like that, you would get points taken off. So just to be safe, like I said, use the exact values you're given in the problem, and you won't have to worry about that issue. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have a question about something I did, or an idea for a future video, and lastly, please don't forget to subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.